On Friday, USA Today reported that former Milwaukee Sheriff David Clark is set to stand trial on January 22 for allegedly referring to a critic on Facebook as a snowflake. According to USA Today, a federal judge Friday dismissed most of a civil rights lawsuit against former Sheriff David A. Clark Jr. over an incident at Milwaukee's airport last year. But a claim that Clark retaliated on Facebook for Daniel Black's exercise of his First Amendment right to shake his head at Clark survives, and is now set for trial January 22. Black and Clark were on the same flight January 15, 2017, from Dallas to Milwaukee. Black saw Clark wearing Dallas Cowboys gear and asked if he were David Clark. Clark said he was, and Black shook his head and walked away to his seat in coach. Black, the report said, was met by six deputies who escorted him from the airport after Clark requested they take Black aside and question him. Black later wrote about the encounter on social media and filed a complaint with the county. Clark responded by calling him a snowflake. The USA Today report said Black later sued Clark and the six deputies, claiming violations of his Fourth Amendment right against unreasonable seizure, retaliation for exercising his First Amendment rights by having him stopped at the airport and the subsequent mockery on Facebook, and his due process rights under the Fourteenth Amendment. The suit also sought to have the county held liable for Clark's actions. But U.S. District Judge J.P. Stott Mueller granted summary judgment to Clark on the fourth and one of the First Amendment claims in a 27 page order issued Friday. He also dismissed the 14th Amendment claim as completely without merit and dismissed the claim against the county and the six deputies. The report added While Clark's actions reflect poor judgment, they do not shock the conscience to a degree to support the due process claim, Stott Mueller ruled. He also found that Black's 15-minute discussion with deputies was not a seizure since they never drew their guns, used friendly language and weren't expecting to arrest or cite Black. But the judge said a jury should decide whether Clark's reaction on Facebook was the kind of threat or intimidation that amounted to retaliation against Black. One post read, Cheer up, snowflake, if Sheriff Clark were to really harass you, you wouldn't be around to whine about it. We are in scary times when a Facebook post or a tweet can land us in court, Christina Lila said at the Gateway Pundit. Exit question, if Sheriff Clark can be tried for calling someone a snowflake, does that mean liberals who openly advocate murder on social media can be hauled into court? Or are they now a protected class? Indeed.